Hello and welcome to this Inkscape video tutorial series. Inkscape is a free drawing program that uh, you can obtain over at inkscape.org. Just jump on over there, hit the download button, current version. Uh, it works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. It is a free software, not a free trial software, so it's free to you to use forever. Uh, this tutorial series is going to be based more around the CNC community, uh, plasma cutters, laser, uh, the 3D uh, wood CNC machines, even probably uh, Cricut machines and the uh, Cameo will all work with this. It's not going to focus so much on the gradients and the drawing and the artwork. Uh, things Inkscape can do. I drew my logo with Inkscape. I kind of like it. Uh, some other things you can do with it. Uh, you can draw signs like this by the time we're done with this. Uh, that's a sign I did for some charity work. Uh, it's a sign I did for a customer. Drew it up. It's pretty nice. Another one for a customer. Uh, gotta love the Trump signs. Some monograms. Teach you how to make your own monograms by the end of this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And ring that little notification bell so you get notified every time we put out a new tutorial video. Your support's greatly appreciated. Let's just jump into it. Uh, here's a file that I drew up. i seen some wood ones online. Uh, it turned out pretty nice. I mean, I drew that up in like 10 minutes. Uh, by the time we're done with this, you'll be able to do the same. I uh, drew up this camper sign for a, another customer. Be able to do that by the time we're done with this. I don't know if you know who Too Short is, but... Two shorts, a rapper from the '80s, and had a made a custom birthday sign for a guy with this. Yeah, it's had a has a blue backing. Uh, turned out really nice, actually. I'll have to try and throw a picture of it in here for you guys. But anyway, by the time you're done, you'll be able to whip something like that out in 15, 20 minutes, probably. Anyway, let's jump into Inkscape and get get to know it a little bit. <clears throat> so when we first open Inkscape, it's going to look similar to this. Um, you have your tools on the left here. Up on the top, you have your tool options for those different tools. So when you change the tool, it's going to change the different things that you can do with that tool. Um, and we'll get into all of that in future videos. This is your artboard inside this little square here. And that's important to know uh, for many reasons. I'll show you a few of them. Um, what I like to do as a sign maker or an art designer, I guess, is change this storyboard to the size of the file that I'm working with or the size of my sign that I'm going to make. So how to change that storyboard size, go over here to Document Properties. It defaults into millimeters. I'm not familiar with millimeters. I don't want to draw something that's 150 million millimeters wide. So I'm an inches guy. Change this to inches. That changes your rulers here to inches. Change this to inches, and this is your storyboard size. So, size. so right now it's 8.26 by 11.69. So let's say I'm going to build a 24-inch a sign by 24-inch sign. You just put those in there. There's no OK button. You just click out of it, and it's saved. Now you can't see the whole thing. We'll get into the different commands in later videos. But just hit the minus key on your keypad and it'll zoom out for you. Now how to pan around, you can 
use these. Most people are probably familiar with that. Slide these back and forth, move them around. Uh, you can also push your mouse button, your mouse scroll wheel down, and, and move your artboard around like that. One thing to note is this is how your thumbnail is going to show in your files too. So when you save something, you need to make sure the entire thing is inside of here. And I'll show you, I'll give you an example here. So if we open this up, you can see that the whole thing is inside that artboard, just like the thumbnail. If we take this and we move it outside of the artboard and we save that file, it's going to save your thumbnail like that. Let's go ahead and change it back. Put it back inside there. Hit save. It's back to normal. So that's important. To, that's why. That's why I like to change my artboard to the file size. Helps me be able to find stuff here. I guess the most important thing here is to just get familiar with changing your artboard size. Well, in the next few lessons, we'll go over each tool as they apply to, you know, the CNC designer. These are your tools, tool options. There's some more tool options over here. But I don't use most of these. I use one or two of them. There's a couple of handy tools over here, but mostly I don't use any of those. Uh, and the next, please click the next video and we'll go over the selection tool. I would suggest you try watching the videos all the way through. There's lots of little things that you can miss and some are extremely helpful. By the end of this, hopefully we'll be sharing some designs with each other. Thanks for watching.